Welcome to another edition of Paragon How To. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the virtual to virtual or V2V migration utility in Paragon's Hard Disk Manager 17 to migrate your VMware ESXi virtual machines to Microsoft's Hyper-V. We will start by launching the application and clicking on the V2V migration menu item in the upper left hand corner. Next, we'll click on either the plus icon at the top or the new migration task link. If migrating multiple machines, we will want to use this first option to continue the entire migration task, even if one or more of the virtual machines can't be migrated at that time. We can shut down the VM before the migration begins and say whether the destination VM will be powered on or not. Next, we are going to connect to our source VMware host. This can be the IP or name of the ESXi host, vCenter server, or vCenter appliance, along with our associated credentials. There is also an option to ignore invalid SSL certificates. Next, we will connect to our Hyper-V host. Again, we will supply the IP or name of the host and corresponding credentials. In this demonstration, I am running the application directly on my Hyper-V host, so I can just use localhost. Now we will select the machine or machines we are going to migrate. You can search for the machine by name, or drill down into the virtual infrastructure as you would in the vSphere client or web interface. As we select one or more machines, we will see the configuration information of the selected machine. The application will use this information to set the default CPU and memory settings when defining the destination VMs. For each machine selected, we can define how that machine will be configured in Hyper-V once the migration is complete. We can define things like the virtual machine's storage location, the VM's display name that will appear in Hyper-V, how many CPUs the VM will use, how much memory, if we want to use dynamic memory allocation or not, the virtual disk format, VHD or VHDX, and whether it's a fixed size or is dynamically expanding. And finally, we can define whether we want to connect to the virtual switch or not. Memory, CPU, and network settings can also be changed after the migration completes. Once we've finished making adjustments to each of the machines, we will see the migration task summary screen. We can go back and make any necessary changes before starting the migration by simply clicking on the machine's hyperlink and saving those changes. Once the migration task has started, we can monitor its progress and see the task details. Once the task completes, we will see the result for each migration and if any errors occurred. Now we can go into our Hyper-V Manager and power on and manage any of our migrated virtual machines. This concludes Paragon's how-to V2V migration from ESXi to Hyper-V. For more information about Paragon's Hard Disk Manager and any of our other products, visit www.paragon-software.com. And for other how-to videos, please visit the Paragon Software YouTube channels.